<laughs> Don't you look cool? We probably won't use that straight away because when we start weaning, it'll literally just be in the house. Um, when we start getting used to it and she starts. <laughs> What are you doing down there thinking you're a big girl, huh? Trying to roll? What are you doing down there, huh? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Lila is down here having a whale of a time. I don't know if you can see, she is... She has started rolling, she just doesn't do it very often. I'm trying to get it, get it. Today, I am so excited. We are doing a weaning haul. Now, Lila currently is... No, now we're trying brain work. She's like five months and one week, five months and two weeks, something like that. We're gonna start weaning around the six months. She's not, I wouldn't say she's strong enough yet. Um, she's not, sit, she's sitting up but leaning forward so she hasn't got that back strength yet. So we're waiting to do that because I wanna try baby led weaning. Don't really know how well it's gonna go. So I say this and I'll end up doing purees but we're just gonna go with the flow, no pressure and I just want her to enjoy it. I Right, in terms of weaning, I don't know if you guys are gonna think I've gone OTT but I've tried to be very minimal when it comes to weaning. I've only got pretty much, I've only got like one plate, one bowl, I've not got two of each, I've, I literally want minimal so that that's all we have. I keep on top of it, I basically wash her plates as soon as she's finished with them. I don't wanna have loads of stuff. I say this and I bet I'll end up buying so much. She's very chatty as you can tell. I say this but I'll end up buying probably more stuff but I'm trying to keep it minimal. Are you joining me on this vlog today? Are you joining me? You are! You are! This is all for you. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> What's that face for? A ball. So, right, Luke is on his way home. He's just nipping home for five minutes and he's bringing me a screwdriver so I can build the high chair. So as I'm talking about a high chair, I will show you the high chair that we bought. I'm going to do like a little time lapse um, after I've showed you everything on building it and seeing like Lila in it. But this is the one that we have. It's just in the box at the moment. It is the... I'm not even going to attempt to butcher the name. That's the name. Everything... Are you trying to grab my hair? Everything that um, we've bought, I'll just link in the description box below. This was actually quite cheap. I think it was about 50 to 60 pounds for a high chair. I thought that was pretty good. Um, and it turns into a toddler chair as well and it's got a really pretty print on it which is not the main reason why I bought it. Yeah, it most definitely is. Um, but yeah, I just wanted something that wasn't overly big, that wasn't too bulky, that just goes in our kitchen. Yeah. Oh, that's not very good. Um, so yeah, in terms of like trying to be minimal, let me know if you think I'm a minimal or too much. <laughs> the Everything Bib. Now this is My Little Coco. And it's basically just to put over, I've bought this more for when we go out and obviously it's not for straight away because obviously she's only going to be trying foods at home. But when she's a little bit older, I'm going to put this on when we go out for meals and things just so she doesn't get it all over her clothes. Uh, yeah, it's for you. Look, that's all yours. Obviously when we're at home, I'm literally probably just going to stick her in a nappy so she doesn't get food everywhere. So that's when we go out, so you know you get like food all over your clothes, is that okay? This was also from Boots. It is the, now I like mam, we use the mam dummies and mam bottles. I've used Tommy Tippy, I'm not a huge fan. Um, so this is just a starter cup night. Why is it night? Oh wow. Oh no. Okay, I don't mean to buy the night one. The only reason, oh that's pretty cool though. The only reason why this is night is because these bits are glow in the dark, but I didn't mean to get that. I just thought it was cute. So, but that doesn't really matter. It's gonna glow in the dark, but in the day, is that okay? Luke has just nipped home to give me a screwdriver and then we realized that it actually comes with a screwdriver. So there's no need for him to come give me So that. this is a nubby munchies. Basically you put like frozen fruit or just normal fruit in it and they like chew it and it's just like get them used to the taste of the texture really without them choking. Um, I have like silicone ones of these and I put breast milk in it and then I freeze it and then Lila has those as like a bit of a teether. So it's like a, like a breast milk lollipop really. Um, but this is the last thing. This is why, what I, like, this is what I meant by minimal. Like, I didn't want to get too much. I didn't want to get too of like everything. I didn't like, cause I knew if I got more than one, I'd slack and like, like leave them on the side to wash them up. Whereas I know if I've only got one, so I have to wash it up straight away. So it's like keeping on top of myself really. Did you just drop that on the floor? Did you not want it? No. So, right, this is Mini Folk, I think it's called. Mini Folk from Amazon. Um, 
I think I said I got this from Boots, I didn't. This is actually from Amazon. It's called like Mini Folk. Again, I'll just uh, link everything down below. It's just like a weaning set. So you get like this silicone bib with it. And then you get a bowl that you just, you like a suction cup thing. So you just stick it to the actual high chair. And then a free foam cup. Now, this wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be one of those mini free foam cups, but it's not. So this is quite big. I don't know if you can tell. Like that is my hand. It's quite big, but again, it's just to get used to a free flow cup. Um, I didn't really know this was a thing until I started like researching wean like, researching weaning. Are you tired? I didn't really know free flow cups um, were a thing, but from what I've read, it actually like benefits them a lot to get them used to free flowing. So it's not just out of again like a sippy cup. So it's just to get them used to actually like she will probably everything that I've seen they throw water over themselves loads but then they just get used to it and then we just got a dinner plate like a section dinner plate again this is like suction so that'll stick to the high chair and then we just got some utensils again I want to do baby led weaning I say this I'm oh, I don't really know how to explain it I'm not set on doing one like one way or the other I think I'm just going to do what suits us what's, co what's comfortable for us if it ends up like we go into puree we go down that route that's absolutely fine but at the moment I want to try baby led weaning so this is why I got these so she feeds herself um, and all the research that I've done it's like food before one is just for fun and I thought when you start weaning you start giving them three meals a day every day I didn't realise it was literally just to get them used to taste and texture so you don't actually need to give them three meals a day till like one or over um, but again everybody's weaning every weaning journey is different and ours may look completely different to yours yours may look different to ours that's there's needs to be no judgement if you want to use pouches, if you want to cook, if you baby led weaning puree, I don't understand why there's such a stigma around it, you do you. We're going to try and use these. I'm not going to give you them though because I've not washed them or sterilised them. So, but yeah, they've got like these little those things on the end that I'm guessing like so that when they put it in the mouth they don't lose the whole thing down their mouth. So. But that is the haul. So that is my version of a minimal weaning haul i'm now going to try and put this high chair together i'm going to attempt to put it together luke was going to do it but he's just he's been working a hell of a lot recently and i don't want you know when he comes home oh can you do this can you do that so i'm going to try and do it myself it may mean that dad is going to have to redo it because oh 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 everybody stop i forgot one thing i've not i've not done it all right so my friend has one of these i'll just put it on. my friend has one of these and I thought this was absolutely amazing. You know, if you go somewhere, they haven't got a high chair or sometimes you don't actually want to use a high chairs because they're, they're a bit minging. Um, so this was an absolutely brilliant idea. So we have the, I think it's like the Chico it's called. Is it Lila? What's the brand? It doesn't say. I'll link it down below. I think I think it's like Chico or something like that. Oh, it's there. Yeah, Chico. Um, so it's basically like a little chair. It looks like a little camping chair that you stick on an ordinary chair and strap it to the back and underneath and then you can strap them in. And it's basically just like a mini little high chair that it literally folds up, which is, this is the best thing about it. Do it. Ow. Oh. Literally, that was a lot easier than I made that look. Um, no, no, it was a lot harder. No, basically, don't do what I did. And literally, that is what it folds into, and then you just put that round it, and that will literally fit in the bottom of her pram, literally in the car. Do you know what? That would even fit in her changing bag. Um, so I just thought that was a really, really good idea. A uh, shout out to my friend Sarah who has one of those. Um, so yeah, that is the last thing, and that we probably won't use that straight away because when we start weaning, it'll literally just be in the house. Um, when we start getting used to it, and she starts, <laughs> yes, and I start making you a little pet lunch, then we'll start taking that everywhere. The, another thing that I wanted to get, which I haven't yet, is just a little lunch box, um, just so when she does start weaning, we go around days out, and then she's got something to put a lunch in. Yes, stop eating that. Oh, that is full of dribble. That is full of dribble. I don't know how well this is gonna go because I'm literally so bad at building anything.
that was the most stressful yes lila that was the most stressful bit was trying to get this on and oh I'm, i don't even want to talk about it it's got it's got me stressed hopefully i've not got too much left because that that stressed me out I have a confession, it is a completely different day, like literally towards the end of like that montage, whatever it's called, basically me putting a high chair together. I just crashed, I was so tired, I was not in the mood to film at all. Uh, yeah, you're looking the wrong way. Lila got this bunny for Easter and you love it, don't you? Mwah. So this is currently the setup that we have. So I'm gonna try and put Lila in it and see if she likes it. She sat in it briefly, literally like, why are you looking? Where are you looking? She sat in it briefly, um, but like she wasn't really in the mood either. So I want to put her in there. She's not held the utensils or anything yet. So I want to see what her reaction is with that. Oh wait, you got a bubble. You got a bubble. <laughs> what is this? We went in this the other day, didn't we? But you wasn't really too sure. We got to strap you in. We got to strap you in all nice and safe. Ready over the shoulders, and then are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, you look like such a big girl. Mind your fingers, mind those fingers. Oh, wow, what are they? We have sterilized all of these, by the way, so it doesn't matter if you put them in your mouth. This is a fork. No, you just want the bowl. Are oh, you big girl? <laughs> yes, when it's got something in it, you drink it. What about this? Wanna go with this? It's just a nice texture for you to chew, isn't it? Yeah. Like this, Lila, huh? Yeah. So when we put some food on that, that's what you do, straight to the mouth. Yes. Lila is currently loving life in there. I'm just gonna let her chill. Um, I'm not gonna start me in for another couple of weeks. I've actually got a first day course on Monday, the Monday after you guys see this. So once I've done that, I'm gonna be ha I'm gonna happy gonna be happy to start weaning. I just want to make sure that I know how to help a baby choking first. But this kitchen website, you can actually get a free like weaning pack, and it's come today, and I'm really excited because it's got like a chart. I'm gonna take it out and show you. What's that? So I think there's just loads of um, tips and things in there, and then there's some vouchers for either free stuff or money off, which is really good. And then what is this? I think this is just, I think I'm actually gonna put that on her. <laughs> Don't you look cool? Don't you look super cool? No, you can't have it, you give yourself a paper cut. <laughs> oh wow, Captain Lila. So yeah, all of that I thought was actually really good. Considering this was all free, I want one that's like got loads of stuff, like the allergens and things on it. I thought this did, but it didn't, but that's not like, that's absolutely fine because this was free and I'm really impressed. It's official, it's up on the fridge. This is gonna be our weaning chart. What do you think about that, Lila? You managed to throw everything else on the floor. We've got a cup down there, we've got a fork down there, oh, we've got a bowl down there. We have a spoon here though. Want it, a spoon? There you go. Oh, good girl, good girl. I think it's like, this is just because this is a, Oh, that's really stuck on that. This is really just a texture that she can chew. So, although I'm impressed, you're gonna be happy when there's gonna be food on there. Yeah. That is it for my minimal weaning haul. I will get back to you in a couple of weeks when I've started weaning to let you know if any of these are if these are any good, if I've got a load more stuff, if I've actually done baby led weaning or gone puree route. I really don't know. I'm just gonna see where this whole weaning journey takes me. Like I said earlier, every baby's weaning journey is different. Just you do what makes you comfortable and that's what I'm gonna do. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.